Hey everyone, this is Nikki DX Girl. Like, welcome to my second channel, DX Girl Likes Toys, where I talk all about toys. Today is Doll Review Wednesday, and I'm going to be reviewing um, Pulip Bloody Red Hood. Yeah, Bloody Red Hood. Um, she is a little Red Riding Hood doll put out by Pulip, um, by Groove. And, um, she, I think she's a collaboration doll, because it says Tokyo Rose up here, I'm pretty sure. It says, special thanks, Cranky Gel Momolita. Tokyo Rose, doll custom and outfit since 2003. So I think she's a collaboration doll. Um, she's the second Little Red Riding Hood that Groove put out. They put out one very, very early on in their uh, company. Um, if I can remember, I'll link to, um, there's a really good, I think it's called Pull-Ups and Junk, uh, blog online that you can view every single, um, pull-up release ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but they did have a Little Red Riding Hood one and then they sort of, uh, redesigned her and released this one. So, yeah, I'm happy to have her, and I'm sorry about this stuff going on, this light. <laughs> um, but the, by the time I get her out of the box, it should be all fixed. I just had to film this quick little intro bit. But her box is red with little um, grayish blue flower designs. Red and gold. Very cute. So let me get her out of this box. Okay, so I've got her out of the box. She actually has three of these little plasticky pieces because she has little pieces at the front of her hair that have the plastic on them. Oh, that one's, that one's curling away. And then this one, big one in the back. Okay. So her wig is pretty soft. It's got some tangles in it here. A little dry at the ends but it's pretty soft um, and when her hair is down you can barely even see these little front pieces but they are still there um, she comes with a bow and I can say if you're planning on getting this doll be very careful when you take out this bow because you like snip a piece to cut it off and it has like this little tiny plastic, uh, almost like plastic wire type. I know plastic and wire, not really. But it's like this little plasticky string piece. And that's what puts the bow on her head. It's not like a barrette or anything or a headband. And it would be really easy to cut that if you don't know it's there, which I didn't. So um, I'm glad I didn't snip that so let's put let's put her bow on first you can you can obviously style her with or without the bow depending on if you want to display her in her red riding hood um oh, come on her hair is getting all messed up now come on girl work with me Hair's all mussed up now. Alright, well, I'll fight with the bow later. Um, got mascara under my eye. I'm a hot mess in this video. Um, here is the bow. It's just like a cottony bow. It looks really cute on her. But now that I've gotten her hair all messy trying to put it on, so just be aware that that, <laughs> that happens. Um, her outfit is really interesting. Um, she's got like this little fabric-y choker that is um, buttoned, snap, a uh, snap button. Um, and it's like lacy. 
and then her dress her dress is so many different layers um it's kind of ragged in the back and i think it's supposed to kind of look um i think it's supposed to look ratty like that it's all like torn i don't know it's supposed to be torn by like the wolf or what but it's all like ratted in the back and on her sleeves and she has this little corset piece right here that um looks like that in the front and then it um it has little hook closures in the back and they're kind of hard to do and undo so i'm not going to take that off but she has um her dress she has like a skirt piece over her dress and the skirt has this can you even see that a wolf design on it you can see there and then it has like all these different layers and you see this one it's supposed to look like worn this has the holes in it and then there's another layer as a cotton layer and then there's the tool underskirt and then she just has on cotton little briefs so yeah she's got lots of layers going on on her dress looks very cute um, the back of her dress is just uh, velcro in the back there and she's wearing um, their thigh-high um, stockings here, little fishnet stockings with little gartery tops to them. And these really cool boots. Um, I'm really impressed with the boots. They're not like plasticky ones that you would find with uh, regular fashion dolls. They're like actually like a leathery type, fake leather type material. Um, with these big huge platforms on them and then they're actually tied up they're very nice I like those okay so um, she comes with besides her bow she comes with her red hood of course um, it's very nice quality it's like a, a velvety uh, material um, I can see this staining her really easily um, which I mean if you if you put it on her with this part facing her it, it shouldn't do too much damage um, I'm gonna see how I can display her but either one of these materials has um, a possibility of staining her so just be aware that that's a thing um, it has this little um, how does that even attach? It has a little hook closure here. And I'm trying to find where that even attaches on the other side. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. Um, very nice material though, very nicely made. And then she also comes with these little accessories, which I had no idea she came with. Um, she comes with a little basket, which, oh, it has a little, it was like a, it's like a purse, but it's a basket. Um, and then this little, um what is this a drink what does it say wine wine from mother my goodness i need glasses i think that's what it says it's like tiny tiny little writing there <laughs> um but it has a little wolf head on the top there so that's cool so you can just like put the little drink in her basket like that and then have her carry that that's really cool um, you don't often see I forget when um, bloody red hood was released I think it was somewhere between 2011 and 2013 but you don't really see them come with that many accessories anymore 
um, as far as like purses and stuff goes. So I'm impressed with that. Um, and then she just comes with, um, she, her stand is actually clear, which is the first clear one I've seen. I've seen white ones, um, but hers is the first clear one that I've seen. And then, of course, her card. She's very pretty. Okay, and then we'll just talk quickly about the face up and the, the hair is like this, um dark whiny brown red color it's very pretty um her she has a very dark face up very goth kind of very smoky um it's really pretty and she's got these super dark brown eyes with just oh are they purple let me see in the window here are those purple they're like a brownish purple color. Like, kind of the same color as her hair. They're very pretty. Um, and then, if you didn't know, Pulip's eyes move back and forth with a lever on the back of their head. And then their lid snapshot. Oh my goodness, I love that. I didn't know she had eyeshadow. She has like a metallic purple um, eyeshadow on which is so cool I didn't know that about her and then their eyes just open back up like that very cool she's got like a very um, plum type lip right here and some subtle blushing on her cheeks so she and she's got like some shading up here too on the front of her eye and very arched brows so that is Bloody Red Hood. Um, she's very pretty. People always talk about how awesome she is, and I kind of overlooked her um, when I first started buying pull-ups, but she's actually really, really pretty. I don't think her promo photos really do her justice. She's much prettier in person. So yeah, um, that is her. Let me know what you think of her down in the comments below. Um, check out my other videos if you haven't already I do a lot of pull-up reviews um, I do doll uh, doll reviews on Wednesdays um, I've been posting them multiple times on Wednesdays recently um, eventually it will go back to probably one every Wednesday but I'm trying to get through a bunch of stuff before we move here and um, I just want to get them posted so yeah um, check out my other videos. I do blind boxes once a week and um, Disney pins on Sundays and then other random videos here and there. So check out my other videos and subscribe if you think my channel is interesting. I would love to have you here with me. Uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye!